Welcome once again to Channel 18, and as you can see today, our first guest is Roman Greer, who is the director of the golf course. And uh, Roman, uh, what is your, your first chore now is to get a golf pro, is that right? That's correct. We're working on that right now. Uh, really, the first chore is to get rid of the, all the snow on the golf course so we can get some <laughs> golfers out. But uh, yes, we will be doing some hiring as well. Good. Now, is, is the snow pretty deep out there? We have, uh, it's, it's just like everybody's yard. There are places where it drifted, where we actually have three or four feet deep drifts oh. in, in, in a few spots on, the, on, the, on some of the cart paths. So we do have a few obstacles still. Now, the, the greens, are they in good shape? Do they the, our staff out? is uh, clearing them today. They're out with blowers trying to clear them. They appear to be in good shape. So I think we're going to be fine. We're hoping to have a soft opening maybe next week <laughs> where we allow people to walk the golf course, and, and uh, we were hoping to have all the holes open. Oh, good. Yes. That would be great. Now, I, you have some plans for the uh, golfers, uh, do you? Sure do. Uh, first off, one thing we're hoping to do is to bring some real good customer service to the golfers this year. That's going to be my goal number one, train the staff to provide a really uh, service-oriented atmosphere at the golf course. So I hope everybody has their experience a little bit elevated at the golf course. Uh, we're going to have golfer development programs as well, where we have mm -hmm. a lot of clinics uh, mm -hmm. for kids, for ladies, for adult men, everybody. We're going to try to get everybody uh, active and a little better at golf. Now, uh, yeah, you're going to have children. Uh, yes. I know, uh, uh, we used to go up occasionally and uh, interview the children when the, yes. uh, they would have their three or four days, uh, they'd have a several week program and sure. we'd get one of them. Sure. Uh, we hope to have you out to video it because the kids are the best to see at the golf course. <laughs> it's one of the things that um, is my favorite thing to do is to teach the kids golf. We're going to have a very active junior program. I'm the uh, Cape Cod PGA junior golf chairman, so I oversee the whole junior golf program on the Cape. So I'm very involved in junior golf. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, we, we're going to, and we have a wonderful Cape wide program. We're going to have uh, Cranberry Valley will be a center for junior golf activity. That would be great. Now, how is that program going? It's going wonderful. So uh, the Cape wide program is in its 23rd season. We had almost 400 kids last year, so it's a, it's a big program. Uh, we travel to 18 different golf courses. The one thing new for this year is we're doing a uh, girls golf program that's run by the LPGA. Okay. And that we're going to have some girl only events because um, it, it, that's a target audience. We're really trying to retain the girls in golf. And in the past, we have them when they're young. When they hit their teenage years, they find other interests, and we're, we're trying to we're trying to hope they stick with golf. So we're, maybe they can have their boyfriend play golf. I right? will get them into it. Get them on the golf course, right? So yeah. we're we're going to try to uh, uh, really do something active with the girls this year. So you'll see some cranberry at Cranberry Valley. You'll see some girl only uh, girls golf events. That'd be great. Now, uh, do the girls have a, a an in? For college scholarships, if they play golf, you know, they? really the the college. What what I've heard and what's pretty regularly discussed is, mm -hmm. um, girls golf is the easiest, most attainable college scholarship. It, it's the most underutilized, really? and for for yeah. boys, it's exact opposite. There's so many good young men out there. It's so competitive to to get a scholarship for the girls. Uh, the, it's the most underutilized scholarship. So there's real opportunities for them. Well, that's great, and. Uh, Let's see now. What else? Oh, what about yourself now? Uh, where, where do you live, and uh, what is your access to the course? Sure, I'm. I'm uh, I live in Sandwich, East Sandwich. Okay. I've lived on the Cape for eight years now. Um, in my uh, time as a golf pro in this area, I've worked on Nantucket at Sankety Head. I've worked in Woods Hole at Woods Hole Golf Club. Uh, most recently in Barnstable at Hyannis Golf Course, and uh, I, as I was a paying my dues as an assistant pro. <laughs> I worked in Naples, Florida and uh, Palm Desert, California. So I always think one of my best uh, references as a golf professional, I have my, my two kids were born two years apart. One of them was in Naples, Florida. <laughs> one was in Palm Desert, California. So they were coast to coast <laughs> and in two, two real golf communities. So, um, so I, I did a lot of dues paying early on. When my kids hit school age, 
we really decided to make the Cape a home and stay put. And so oh, well, that's great. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be at Cranberry Valley. It's a great place to be. Now, these, you have a girl and a boy? Or you I have, have an 11-year-old girl. Her name's Maddie. And I have a 14-year-old boy. His name's Jack. Oh, well, that's great. And where did you go to school? Did you I, get your, uh, uh, I went to University of Rhode Island. I mm -hmm. went to journalism school. And um, I, I was a golfer as a kid. And when I was going through college, I bartended at a Green Valley Country Club in Rhode Island just to make some money going through college. And um, I, what I determined was I, I, I went to journalism school. I was really into it. I started working for the Newport Daily News in Rhode Island. And I just saw that I really liked the golf atmosphere better. I kind of got looked around and said, maybe I'm not as good as these other journalists. <laughs> maybe I, I'm not enjoying my time in the newsroom as much as I am at the golf course. And so I decided for a career change and, and to um, become a member of the PGA and take a career in golf. Well, we're glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am too. I, I can see, I think I'm happier. I, I think I'm happier for well, making that decision. Well, I haven't good. looked back. You haven't looked back. Well, that's great. Uh, is there anything else that we should know about that's going on up at the golf course? Well, I think what we're trying to do, um, I have a lot of ideas for things to, um, but what I really want to do is get a few days under my belt of actually having some golfers. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to change everything until we actually have some golfing days. <laughs> so we do have some good plans. We're going to implement them slowly. Um, overall, number one goal is customer service, really mm -hmm. create a nice service in or, or, oriented environment. Number two, golfer development programs offer um, mm. offer opportunities for clinics for golfers of all levels, uh, all age groups, and, and all segments, and that that really uh, creates a lot more activity at the club. People want to play more golf when they feel like they're getting better at it. Mm. Those are the two main focus points. Other than that, I'm I'm getting to know the place. I'm I'm looking to meet all the members, and I'm looking to have some uh, looking forward to having some nice golf days where we can see how things operate. Yeah, but the weather's get the weather on your side. It's I'm, a little chilly now. It's a little ch I'm hoping we're, there's a change going on. So all of a sudden this week, the temperatures are ho hovering in the 40s and yeah. topping out around 50. That's different. So th th we're going in the right direction. I, th yeah. I think spring's going to come at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all rooting for that. I hope so. Well, thank you very much for joining Thanks, us today. Paul. And we wish you really good luck at your new position. Thank you very much. I'm, I appreciate you having me.